kapag batak ang utak, batak din ang bulsa. Mga friendship, napapaisip na ba kayo kung anong pagkakaiba ng mindset ng mga negosyante at mindset ng empleyado? In this video, ibabahagi ko ang pagkakaiba kung anong entrepreneurial mindset and employment mindset. Kung interesado po kayo, tune in. Don't tune out. Videos that will make you wealthy and debt free. Hi there! This is Chinky Tan, ang inyong pambansang wealth coach. Thank you very much for really patronizing this channel. At kung kayo po ay hindi pa subscriber, I highly encourage you to subscribe, okay? Don't forget to subscribe and like, okay? Mga friendship, sa video na ito, pag-uusapan natin ang differences ng entrepreneurial and employment mindset. So, alam mo, ito lang mga friendship. Ha? Some people generalize employees as followers, entrepreneurs as leaders. Pero may ilang employee din. Ako, naniniwala ako na they have an entrepreneurial way of what thinking. Kaya nga, makikita po natin kahit empleyado ka, pwede ka maging isang entrepreneur. Paano lang natin malaman ang differences? Difference number one. Ang mga entrepreneur, they work to learn. Ang mga employment way of thinking, they work to earn. Ulitin ko, yung isa, work to learn and work to earn yung isa. Eh kasi nga, nagkakaroon ng tinatawag ng job mentality. Yung pagpasok, mga unang tanong is, magkano sweldo? Oo. Wow. Kung ako lang HR, sabihin ko, wow ha. Pamimihasa ka, humingi ka ng trabaho, hihingi pa ng sweldo. Hindi, <laughs> pero ang mga ano, entrepreneurs, no, hindi mo na iniisip yung income. Eh. Kasi may minimum wage naman. Di ba? Ang iniisip nila, ano ang matututunan nila based on the experience. That's the reason why. Let me encourage you. Huwag kang maging choosy pagdating sa trabaho. Dapat, ang iniisip mo is to gain experience, to gain contact, to gain confidence. And once you start learning, that's the time you can start dictating kung magkano gusto mong kitain. Kaya nga, itong malaking mindset na lang ang difference. Ha? Employment is work to earn, but entrepreneurial is work to learn. Second, difference mindset. Ang mga entrepreneurs, they sell value. Halaga, oo. Pero ang mga employment, way of thinking, they sell their skills. Laging iniisip ng negosyante paano siya bubuo ng mga grupo, ng iba't ibang skills, or let's say mga services, para maging produkto at serbisyo at para makatulong sa ibang tao. Sa kabilang banda ng iniisip ng mga empleyado kung paano nila ibebenta ang kanilang sarili, ang kanilang skills, at kanilang oras para kumita. Ito lang ha, the truth is this, lumalago ang isang negosyo dahil, dahil, hindi lang sa pagbebenta ng skills, pero pag-offer ng value. And that's what I've learned about business and entrepreneurship for so many years. I started my sales career at the age of 12. Ang dapat iniisip natin, hindi yung kita eh. Ang iniisip natin, paano natin masasolve ang problem ng mga kliyente mo, ng customers mo? How can you make their lives better and easier? And in the process of helping to get what they want, and you know what will happen in return, you will also to get what you want in life. And that's what this business is all about. It's all about what we call as give and take. When you give, you will be also take. Pero yun nga ang problema. E eh, pagka iniisip mo lang, ibebenta mo lang parati yung skills mo, mag what's in it for me, paano kiki? No, no, no. Alam mo, magbigay ka sa mga tao, pag oras nagbibigay ka, babalik sa iyo. Pero pag iniisip mo lang, anong pakinabang mo, ay talagang hindi ka talaga kikita. Third difference na mga entrepreneurial way of thinking and employment way of thinking, ang mga entrepreneur pagdating sa oras, kasi alam nila talaga limited ng oras, 24 hours a day lang. They buy time. But mga employment no, way of thinking, what do they do? They sell their time. Yes. Kaya nga, ito lang ha, ang kagandahan kasi, ang mga employment, kasi alam nila limited na kanilang oras. So, ang ginagawa, nag-hire sila ng mga tao. Like for example, si Ginong Henry C. They, he hires 1,000 sales ladies working 8 hours per day. So, ano nangyayari? Binibili niya yung oras. So, yung 8,000 hours is credited to him. So, naglalabas siya ng pera, pero yung 8 hours na binabayaran niya, syempre, dapat higit sa kanyang kinikita. Bumibili siya ng oras at ng effort ng ibang tao. Ang tawag po natin dyan is what? Time leveraging. So the more people working under him, the more that he will make money. Common sense yun. However, again, on the other side, ang mga employment way of thinking, 
ang ginagawa is binibenta yung oras. Parang, magkano yung overtime pay ko? Alam mo, come to think of it, ladies and gentlemen, even if you work 24 hours a day, you only get 24 hours. May limit siya. Kaya kailangan isipin po natin, hindi po yung ibebenta natin yung oras natin, dapat isipin natin paano tayo magbumultiply, paano natin maleleverage ang ating oras para mas malaking ang ating kita. Yes na yes! At bago tayo dumating, oo, sa panghuli, batiin muna natin ang ating mga friendship na mga loyal subscribers ng Ching Positive, no? OFW Mix Movies from Abu Dhabi, si Jeremy May Manyala, at si Prince Venice Buenaventura. Maraming maraming salamat. And last but not the least, grabe to. Uh, the difference between entrepreneurial way of thinking and employment way of thinking, ang mga entrepreneur look at money as a seed. But, yung mga employment way of thinking look as money as a fruit. Ano ibig sabihin niyan? Pag nakakita po ng pera ang mga entrepreneur, iniisip nila, binhito, tinatanim po nila. Bakit? Para ito ay mamunga, pag ito ay namunga, dadami ang anyang ani. Ang iniisip naman ng mga empleyado, pag dumating na yung pera, ito naman ay pagkain, di ba? Paano ko gagastusin to? Paano ko mag enjoy dito? But the problem is this. Look at this. Pag ang binhi, kinain mo, ano itatanim mo? Wala. Pag wala ka tinanim, may aniin ka ba? Wala. Yun po nangyayari. That's the reason why nagiging vicious cycle. Yung tinatawag na month-to-month paycheck, no? Yung isang kahig, isang tuka. Walang kahig, walang tuka. Pero isipin po natin pag nag-entrepreneurial way of thinking tayo. Tinanim natin, ninegosyo po natin. Pag negosyo po natin, kumita ng negosyo. Based on the tubo ng iyong pera, yan ang pinang enjoy mo. At tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang kita ng iyong pera at ng iyong negosyo. Yes! Nice! So guys, I want to challenge you to start, no? Start changing your way of thinking. Again, people are defined by how they think. Kung gusto mo magbago ang buhay mo this year, kailangan magbago ang mindset mo. Don't just work to earn, you work to learn. Mas maganda niyan. Huwag mo lang ibenta ang oras mo. Bumili ka ng oras ng ibang tao, di ba? And then, stop seeing money as a fruit, but start seeing ang pera po ay seed. Kailangan itanim para ito ay mamunga. So, right now, my question to you is this. Do you want to become an entrepreneur? And you're saying, Yes, Shinky, gusto ko talaga maging negosyante, maging entrepreneur, pero hindi ko alam kung paano ako mag-uumpisa. Nako, wag na kayo mag alala Timing na timing po. I just want to invite you to a business conference this coming February 19. That's on a Saturday, 2 p.m. up to 7 p.m. Anong po matutunan po nyo dito sa session namin na ito? Number one, we will teach you on how to start your own franchising. Kung gusto niyo magkaroon ng franchising business o pumasok sa franchising, you got to attend. Bakit po? Si Mr. Joe Magsaysay of Potato Corner himself will share his expertise and experience. How he built thousands of franchises. Number two, kung gusto niyo pumasok sa food business this 2022, join us with RJ Ledesma of Mercato Central. He will teach you on how you can start a profitable business. Number three, kung gusto niyo mag-start at maging profitable sa online, sa mga shopping sites, nako, I have invited Steve C. Okay, of Great Deals E-Commerce na siya po ang considered as the Alibaba of the Philippines. Siya yung pinakamalaking ngayon din sa Pilipinas sa online selling. He will share with you techniques. Yung mga kailangan diskarte, kailangan kang magpo-post, kailangan kang magbebenta, ano ang price, price point. Grabe, super excited. And I also have invited two celebrities na to join us in this conference. Si Berwin Maylie to share his life story from rags to riches, then to rags, right now back to riches. And then also, ang aking kalookalike na si Ken, o oh, Ken Chan, o oh, oh, na GMA artist na ngayon ay entrepreneur also. So guys, if you are interested to be part of this event, you know what? All you need to do is just join us. And the next question, magkano investment for this conference? We want to make it affordable for this conference. So magkano lang po ang investment nyo? It's only 999 Yes, you heard it right. It's only 999 for you to learn the ins and outs, for you to start your own business. So if you're interested, all you need to do is just click on the link below or on top or just type the word called business. Type the word called business right now inside your comment section and I will send you a link so that you'll be able to enroll and register.
Thank you very much for watching and I hope that I've enlightened you the difference between mindset of an employee and mindset of an entrepreneur. If you do like this video, please give me a like, give me a hug, okay? <laughs> give me a thumbs up and at the same time, please also subscribe. This is Chinkitan saying, to every problem, there's always a solution. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Always check positive. Don't ex... I've invited C St Thank you for watching. If you want to suggest a topic or review that you would like me to discuss on the next video, please do comment below para mabasa po namin. Thank you very much and I'll see you on our next video.